All right, guys, got quite a bit done, so thought I'd share a quick video to show you where I'm at. So what I ended up doing for the track system here is all I did was I made this simple little box. That's what I started with, but I didn't like it. So then I ended up just setting a piece of melamine on top of this thing, the full length. And then for the track, all I did was cut a piece of melamine just slightly wider than this piece of melamine. I did edge band the edges to make it a little bit smoother. And then on the back side here, I just added this little piece to keep it from moving from front to back. There's plenty enough weight it's not going to come off. And any cutting where it's doing this, you know, cutting from the underside is going to be pushing down on that. But the under, the back side, uh, when I'm pushing my lever, was seemed to lift a little bit. So what I did to cure that was to uh, just run this piece down a little bit further. And then I, uh, I ran this piece up just slightly, uh, not quite, you know, touching this right here. So... Um, See this thing, guys. This is how I'm uh, I'm moving this thing back and forth. You can get this cheap uh, little cogs and uh, and this little belt off of Amazon. And then I, I made a little contraption in here, just a couple of pulleys, um, and hooked that belt in. Now I'm able to just turn this little dial, as you can see, and it moves this little sled back and forth with the cutter head on it. Um, pretty slick. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. All I'm using is just little cheap bearings. I just stuck a bolt in there and put a couple of cheap bearings, but it makes a, a really nice cheap handle. Them bearings, uh, little 3-8 bearings are pretty near, you know, you, I don't know how much I paid for them, but it wasn't a lot. And uh, I really like them uh, for something like this. So the other thing I did was, is I didn't like the idea of having to hold this handle and push it in. It's way more control when you can do it with a lever. So that's all I did. This is probably going to get uh, revised a little bit, maybe. <laughs> uh, the pocket hole machine has screw joints like this that last it forever. So I don't even know if I'll change it. I may upgrade to a little bit heavier screws, but these are because these are just drywall. But you can see just with this simple lever system, um, it moves the cutter head in and out and I probably don't even need this spring now actually now that I think about it I don't because it's better without it because then it gives me more control um, So yeah, this thing is coming together really good now I'm gonna try to set the camera up here so I can show you what the plan is now to finish this thing. So um, So now you can see look I can go from one end right to the other with this thing no problem at all and uh and in and out, you know, the full distance here um, with this little lever. So now what the plan is, is I'm going to uh, to make a, a place for, to put a copy on this thing. You know, if I got a post that I want to try to reproduce, then I need to be able to get this set up. And I think, you know, I was thinking back here, but now that I've got this together, I'm thinking it's going to be up here right in the line of sight. Um, because all I have to do is, you know, if I hook down to this with a little copy pin, you know, that spot would work to do it long as this thing is stationary then it'll just you know follow along and i'll just be able to do a copy of whatever i decide to make a copy of so that's for another video hopefully you guys had fun watching hopefully you'll tune into the next one and thanks for watching